Hello, Unity folks. This is Tim Grotman. This is the second part, and I'm going to walk you through setting up the NVIDIA drivers on Ubuntu so that you can run your Unity app that you published to Linux. All right, so first you'll notice in my capture that there are um, there's an overscan issue, which I'll be able to fix once the uh, NVIDIA drivers are installed. And overscan is basically just how you see the left hand side of my HD output, HDMI output it's being cut off and it's just one of the settings that you can adjust in the NVIDIA control panel uh, after that uh, you'd be able to capture your game normally alright so the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser there's Firefox on here by default this is Ubuntu 12.10 and then you're going to head on over to the NVIDIA website. Okay, US and Canada, or wherever you are. Make this bigger. I'm going to download the GeForce drivers. Now, of course, it's going to depend on what, whatever video card you have, but I've got a GeForce 9 something in this box. And I'm running 30, 64-bit Ubuntu. Okay, agree and download. And this is going to put it into my downloads folder. Okay, now that it's downloaded, I can push Control-Alt-T to bring up a terminal and go into my download folder. And there's the file, and you just want to run a change mod plus X on the NVIDIA installer file, and that will make it so you can execute, and it turns green. Alright, so that's the first step. We don't want to run it in an X session, and we also want to prepare our Linux box for the install. So first thing, you want to make sure that all your updates are installed. So we're going to do this by going to the start button or whatever that is and looking for the software update center actually soft software updater so you want to run that and it'll look for all the packages that are out of date and we're doing this because it's probably also going to include your X window updates which you want to make sure that's up to date before you go and install NVIDIA because that's going to change your settings and whatnot and it's going to expect certain places and certain things to be installed okay so there are quite a bit of updates here and I am going to install them now click the install button on the bottom right authenticate Okay, so this is, it's downloading, the first thing I saw there is it was downloading the generic Linux image. So uh, for the NVIDIA install process to run, it's going to want the kernel headers for their 3.5.0.17 version that's installed. So we'll make sure that that matches after the updates are installed. Rename dash r. Okay. So that's our kernel version. Kernel release, kernel version. Number twenty eight. Cool. This will be important in the software updater later so that we can make sure that we
Okay. Now that software is finished updating, we need to restart. Click restart. Okay, so now that we've restarted, we're back in. Okay, and then we want another terminal, Control Alt T. Let's just run some of those commands from last step again. Uname dash R. So now we're on 25 generic. That's starting to make a lot more sense. And kernel number 39. Okay. So let's just make sure we have the kernel headers for this version. We're going to run the software center. We just want to make sure that we have the stuff we need for this version. So if we look for kernel, headers, okay, we can make sure that we have the right kernel headers for the kernel we have installed. So 350.25, complete generic kernel and headers. Install that. Okay, that's this is the version we have. It's either this one or the generic ones. And I think I remember it saying generic when I was doing that test last time. Okay, so the next step is we need to turn off our X session. So we can do that with a sudo command, which is sudo stop light dm. And that'll turn off our X session. After we authenticate. Okay, now we're gonna hold down Control Alt Alt and F1. Control Alt F1. Log in. Go to your downloads folder, and that's where we have NVIDIA. And I'm going to run the NVIDIA installer with sudo. Authenticate. Okay, and this is going to install the NVIDIA driver. You need to accept the license. The pre-install script failed, that's too bad. Okay, I've seen that before. Okay, I can disable the mod probe driver. Okay, that uh, didn't really do it. Try it again. Keep going. Okay, and turn it back on, make sure I didn't break it. Pseudo. Start light DM. Let's still log in. Let's see if that mod probe thing did anything. So I'm going to restart. The terminal. Sudo turn off our X session with sudo stop light DM. Back to the X session. Try it again. Of course. Sudo it. Okay, it's installing now. That's a good sign. So 
So with that mod probe step, it needed to disable whatever default driver it came with. Then I had to restart. Getting kind of hopeful like this might work. Don't let me down, NVIDIA. Yes, I want to run it automatically. Okay. So now I can do sudo start light dm and I think it installed. All right, log in. have to guess that I can run NVIDIA server settings. Sweet. All right. And notice I have the Elgato capturing it. Resolution auto, okay. Advanced. Report out. What if I adjust uh, Do I have to hit apply first? I was going to play with the uh, clipping out here, but I'll do that in a minute. Okay, so I think we are set up. One way to know for sure. So we go to the Ubuntu Software Center. We put on a 3D game like Chromium. The scrolling space shooter. And the Chromium web browser is also a good choice. After it's done. Also installing the Chromium web browser, which is essentially Chrome. Chrome for Linux. More info. But it's an open source browser based on Chrome. It's a base. On, Chrome is based on Chromium, something like that. All right. So here's our 3D game that we're gonna see if we have accelerated 3D, and it's looking like it's moving fast. Oh yeah, super fast. All right. Okay. So we have our NVIDIA drivers installed. And just for my capture stuff, I want to adjust some of these settings. All right, so all right, well, I'll fix the overscan in another video. So basically, what we have now is we have 
Accelerate 3D, and at this point, I should be able to run a Unity game. All right, so stay tuned for the next part, and we'll go into launching Unity games on Linux. Thanks for watching.